Good afternoon, I'm Gareth Carroll of Beckett Financial Services and this is my colleague Richard Jones and uh, this afternoon we're doing a quick video on uh, group protection schemes and qualifying periods. Now uh, when you take on a new member of staff they're usually going to be subject to a probationary period, uh, three months, six months, maybe a year and uh, often we see the benefits are offered in line with that, quite reasonable. Uh, there are just things to be aware of when you're writing qualifying periods into uh, group protection schemes. Yes. Let's say you have a six month qualifying period on your life scheme, you've got a, a new member of staff, they unfortunately come down with the worst at five months and go off sick, then the worst happens say at seven months and they pass away, unfortunately the life scheme won't pay out because they need to be actively at work on the date they qualify for cover. So if that member of staff isn't at work doing their normal job, when they hit six months qualifying they're not covered. Yeah. Actively at work on the day you qualify. So day one cover, most people turn up day one. You'd hope so. Cover straight away, not a problem. Uh, but if it's not day one cover, they do have to be actively at work. Yes. Yeah. It's also, the one thing you have to consider is how your contracts of employment are written as well. Does it state that cover is subject to the insurer's acceptance, or does it just state you have the cover at six months? If it does not state that the, that the cover is subject to the insurer's acceptance, then potentially the liability of that claim can sit with the employer. Yeah, it wants to say that for all of your employee benefits really, subject to insurer acceptance. Very crucial phrase to tag onto the end of things there. Yeah. Uh, the other thing to mention with qualifying periods is uh, if you've got like say a group life scheme, group income protection, and you have a qualifying period that applies to everybody on cover, that will also apply to any high profile recruits you might be trying to bring on board. So you're trying to bring on a new commercial director, a new top sales guy that you've headhunted, They've got the cover where they are currently, and you've maybe offered them that cover day one when they join you. Mm. They will have to do full underwriting for all of the benefit, because the insurer will class them as a discretionary entrant, because they're not waiting for the usual six months that you're applying to everybody else. Which isn't desirable, because like the insurer can deny cover altogether, or yeah. load. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, qualifying periods, are they worth it? Well, it depends a little bit on the, on the cover. We would say that on life schemes, it's never worth doing. No. Uh, income protection is more of an argument for it, uh, critical illness, you know. Um, but uh, for ease of administration, day one cover is the easiest way to go across all of your um, group risk policies. Yeah, I've got quite a few companies who um, they actually do day one cover, but they just don't tell people they've got the benefit until they get to six months. And I reckon that's probably the way to go. Mm. Anyway, that was the video for this afternoon. Thanks for watching. Thanks.